All right, YouTube. I did not like this experience at all, and I'm going to share it with you. So this is the time I got scabies. For you all who do not know what scabies is, or if you don't know much what scabies is, it is a rash. So it's, I'll, I'll explain what it, the Google definition is. A contagious, intensely itchy skin condition caused by a tiny burrowing mite. So it can be multiple mites or whatever. Um, so I hated this. I only had it that one time. It was horrible. So I'll explain that whole story. First of all, um, this happened like a few years ago, something like that. Uh, this was during the time I was dating some girl for two years, right? Um, so this can be quite contagious. Uh, it spreads skin to skin contact. Uh, and also, um, about this too is you can get it from, it's kind of like similar or yeah, you can get it from any sort of clothing or cloth type material, um, because that's where they stay at. So let's say if I were to sit on a, a couch or a leather seat at the movies, um, or bus, uh, and if I had scabies or whatever, um, then the next person that would happen to sit there could potentially, uh, get that scabies, um, if those mites got on, uh, if any of those mites got on that material, right? And when they get on that material, they stay there for about, um, a few days, and then they die. They have to, to be able to survive, they have to be on human skin. Uh, and... Uh, like a lot of different kinds of other material they can't survive on. It's usually only like uh, all of these kind of cloth material, right? Uh, and I don't think animals can get it at all. But that's of my knowledge. So what happened was I noticed there was a time period where I was at my uh, significant other's my girlfriend at the time, uh, house and like slept in her bed or whatever. And I noticed she and I, uh, were quite itchy and it was itchy in certain places. Uh, so for me, it was my thighs, but like hardcore itchy, mainly at night, but it would also be during the day and it got worse and worse. So I ended up calling my mom uh, the next morning and figuring out what to do and I needed a doctor's point blah blah this that yeah I'm a little baby at the time uh, and didn't know how to set up appointments like fully myself or whatever so I went to my doctor and it turned out I had scabies uh, so he he did like a little test uh, to test it um, and yeah so where scabies can typically be on men is uh, the thighs and, uh, the, um, the wrists, right? Um, and it looks like little bumps or whatever. Uh, and another thing too about it is like, I thought it would be like a rash, like a natural kind of rash or whatever. Um, or I mean like any sort of kind of rash. Uh, but I had no idea that it would actually be little mites that burrow into your skin. And it's not like you could get them out, you know what I mean? You have to put on a cream that's not over the counter uh, that you need to get prescribed to be able to kill those mites. So pretty much what this cream is, is a stronger dosage, like strong version of uh, the same kind of um, chemical that's used for killing lice. So... For killing lice, you can get that over the counter. Sadly, for the scabies thing, you have to literally get this cream prescribed. Which I think it's annoying and ridiculous that you have to get it prescribed. Uh, so, 
the guy prescribed it for me and my girlfriend at the time to be able to get rid of it completely. So there were two different creams that were provided. One was a cream that we had to put all over our body, like neck down once. And that was supposed to kill them. And then the next one was just like, we put it on for the next, I think, 14 days, something like that, or 10 days or something. Uh, and then it like, yeah, like removes all the eggs and all that stuff. Uh, so this, uh, and like all the itchy kind of stuff or whatever, uh, that goes away after like a couple weeks after they're already killed. You know what I mean? After that one night of full on cream all over your body, you know? So it took a while for me and her to lose that itchiness. Um, and that made me like crazy. Like I wasn't able to sleep that well. Cause what they do is they bite more at night. They bite a lot more at night. They, uh, they lay their eggs more at night and blah, blah, this, that. And so I wasn't able to sleep as much as before. Like as if I didn't have scabies, like I was going crazy because of it. I, was sleeping less and less and uh because i would wake up to the itchiness and it was just it was so bad and so creepy thinking that you know it's not like it's a, a rash you know a, a natural thing it's literally mites burrowed in your skin so and then also on top of it all the clothing i was wearing before any sort of cloth material i had to um wash all that you know so then it's all safe and clean from the scabies if you put it in the washing machine or whatever it kills it like with all the detergent and everything and also lysol can kill all that stuff uh or you could wait a few after a few days or so then they'll die naturally like that um so thankfully i never ended up getting it again uh, and thankfully, once we got rid of it, that was it. We're not particularly sure how we got it, but it absolutely sucked. It was a horrible experience. And uh, I wish the best for those who ever get scabies. My recommendation is one, try to get it uh, resolved sooner than later. Go to the doctor sooner than later. Uh because it'll make you crazier over time. I've read crazy stories in uh, in forums online about how people would like get rid of it, but then somehow get it again or whatever. But what you need to do that's very important is make sure you like detach yourself from any sort of material you think would still end up having scabies on it and or completely clean clean that material away to get the scabies the hell out of there because it is very possible to keep on getting it again and again and again like a cycle so it's horrifying stuff and disgusting stuff uh and really annoying and on top of it uh another random fact is a lot of homeless people tend to get scabies uh but god bless them um, and I hope the best for anyone who gets scabies. I hope you all get the hell away from those scabies. Kill all those scabies. All right. Thank you for listening. Like, and subscribe. Check out my other stories. Lots of crazy stuff have happened in my life. Good, bad, weird. Thank you. Bye-bye.